watch out. Well I could throw a ball in two ways. I could I could throw a ball and move everything yeah. together. Yeah. Or I could separate the joints and crack the whip. So yeah. we're not applying more effort, we're just moving the body more efficiently. You know what's coming, you're more likely to connect to the shot. If you're yeah. thinking, oh my god, this might be over there. Yeah. The reaction to that shot is over there. That's stunning. So the outcome of today would be a bit more distance yeah. and that feeling that more compression on the ball where I'm not flipping it and I'm actually compressing it. Yeah. To start with, what I want to do is just, just to let your body go into flexion and extension, just to feel that warming up a bit. So notice when we, when we move our body, it's always connected to the breath and you can notice the nail and the that's it. So as we change the shape of our body, that also influences the breath and... Yeah, I think I tend to hold my breath a lot, that's the thing. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> often when, you know, if we feel anxious, we feel like that. Yeah. We can feel like a kind of golf course. In the summer, when the rough was that high and the fairways were narrow, you know, you sort of get so tense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, don't get it perfect, I'm dead, you know. Yeah, and then you sort of... Just try and focus when you do that, breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. Oh, not through the mouth, huh? Yeah. So when we breathe through the nose, it connects to the diaphragm. Okay. So what we get is a deeper breath, a longer breath, where if we breathe through the mouth, that's connected to the chest. So that starts okay. to in increase the rib cage size and yeah. that also restrict. So we want to start to connect the nose with the, okay. the belly. Yeah. But we just, just be mindful of it and we can start to tie this into to what we do there. That's it. Just start to connect that breath to the movement there. That's it and then change directions. Mm. Well, I mean about the inconsistent strike. Yeah. Sometimes I flip it and hit it a bit yeah. heavy. You know? So like there, the previous shot, you'd be quite happy with, but then, then you do what feels the same and then there's a different result. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So what felt different on that shot? <laughs> it, it, it felt a bit, uh, you know, quite smooth. Right? Yeah, yeah. And this is what we need to tap into that feeling. Yeah. Because I want you to say, right, that, that's where I need to go. But yeah. it's when you're not sure, it's yeah. like, yeah. yeah. Talking about, you know, positional goal. That's one of the things that destroyed me again, was trying to sort of, you know, get the arms and hands into that position, you know. Yeah, and yeah. and uh, just destroyed me again, trying to do that. So just that's it. So just let that club go where it wants to go. Yeah, we're not trying to put it in a position. We're just so we, we feel we're reacting, creating that friction from the ground. So that energy is coming up from the ground, and then it's it's transferred into that club head. So where, wherever that goes, it goes. That's it. Okay. So just step off for me. So when you were doing that, what what was what were you feeling? What was out of control? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So there's a lot going off from the ground. Yeah. And we start to feel whatever we do here influences this whole chain. Yeah. So this what I want to start to tap into is this how we how we move the feet will influence this whole system. I could throw a ball in two ways. I could I could throw a ball and move everything together. Yeah. Or I could separate the joints and crack the whip. So yeah. we're not applying more effort, we're just moving the body more efficiently. So this is what we need to do is tap into to this stretch reflex. So so what I want to do now, can you just stand there for me? Right, so now, now we start to sense a feeling. I want to just start to connect the breathing to this movement. So, so as we set up, we're going to, as we, as we swing back, we're breathing in, out, in, and out. So we connect that breath to that movement. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm trying. I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm that's all right. Breath, right. Yeah. I can see you nearly going blue. <laughs> <laughs> Different flight on that as well, yeah. more penetrating. So now, that's not a feeling I get very often, that right, compression. So we need to tap into that feeling. <laughs> so, so what we're starting to see now is the sweet spot starts to point down. Yeah. That's a lot further as well. Sure. <laughs> that's near the 150. Yeah. That's what I'm after. 150 yeah. 
So I think so see it like this now. It's like when I said initially we'd throw the ball on and everything moving together, we're starting to separate. So the feet are as the braking system to allow the top half to the swing shot. So this this is like your post. And as soon as we stop that post, the arms get thrown off the body. If you love the coaching, but you're not able to get a lesson, the closest thing you can do to get a lesson is by a Zen GRF Infinity training system and experience the same things that you're seeing my pupils go through in a lesson. It's a training tool that allows you to discover your swing naturally and a two hour download of all the exercises that enable my pupils to tap into those forces and find their most natural, efficient golf swing. Down and up. Down and This force going up allows me to rotate yeah. Yeah. from the inflection. Yeah. I can't rotate, so then I start to use my arms. Yeah. 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 Enjoy the moment, that's yeah. long. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard. Yeah, that, recognize that feeling. Yeah, that, that felt good. Because yeah. there's a lot of feedback in the finish, we're off an hit board, it's over there. It's almost feel, right, how did that feel? If we kind of relay back to where you start and what, what's changed. What's changed? I, want I, to. I, I feel a bit free, but also I've, I've got an understanding of, of how the elements are going together. Yeah. Uh, you know, I've watched the videos and I understood some of the elements, but perhaps the secrecy is too far there. Yeah, because you, your, your movements are good, you've got to be in the right order. And yeah. also there's, you know, this, if you're missing an element, let's say a, a vertical, then yeah. you don't have nowhere to go. That's where fate should start. That's yeah. lovely. Get used to it first. So, if anything, it sounds ridiculous. You actually close the face yeah. yeah. to face it. As long as the path is further back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we could, we could have a, we could have a face like that. Yeah. And we could still, uh, we could still fade the ball. Right. Because I've got exactly. a path that's further left. So where, what exactly. well, a lot of people do is they. The face, you open the face up now, yeah. it starts there and then it goes further out. Right. So we need a face, we need a, a face to start yeah. left. Yeah, yeah, so we want to see the ball. That's massive. We want the compression with a fade and a draw, not yeah. just a draw. Because yeah. if you're not careful, it's like you've got a seven iron into a flag with a draw, then you're having to use a five iron if you want to fade it. Yeah. That's like, totally different ball flight where I wanted to say okay I've got a seven crunch it and I could hit a seven with a draw. Yeah, I couldn't do that before. Yeah just that's, that's probably why the club face yeah, is yeah. more open that's because it. of the body swing you know. Yeah. yeah. But this is what I just it's just it's almost counterintuitive because we, over the years we've been told if you shoot the face you're gonna draw it. Yeah. Actually so, shoot the face to what? Swing it all together. Just, yeah. Couldn't have the confidence to do that because it would just go there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's it. That because I want you to be able to over the ball and say, right, I know what's coming. And if you know what's coming, you're more likely to commit to the shot. If you're thinking, oh my god, this might be over there. Yeah. The reaction to that shot is over there. That's stunning. But most people who. Um, Struggle to fade it out. So when they when they do it like that, they actually prefer that shot. So yeah, it's like it feels more controlled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It felt easier. Yeah. 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 Tell you what, fade might be your shot. <laughs> You're <laughs> nailing it. Well, as it's I've never tried to fade it with a close face. You can feel that belt buckle get higher. Yeah. For extension. Yeah. So use that vertical. Go up. Nice. Amazing that. Jump. There, jump. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, super shot. Different ball flight there. Yeah, yeah. Don't, you know, and again, play around with this. You know, again, because we, 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 we are frightened of cups. <laughs> Yeah. You know, how many times you told the mates, says, oh, you lifted up, you lifted yeah. your head up, and yeah. it's not, we need yeah. to, we need to come out of this to allow that snap, yeah. Go up, even more, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's it. I'm waiting for it. Yeah. yeah. And it's like now, it's like now, you're starting to feel that feeling. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Because yeah. you knew, like you knew. I was like, frightened to do that. Yeah, yeah, because of that shot. Yeah. yeah. Right, yeah. should we try the big dog? Okay. Just chip my chip. Yeah. So close. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's just, you can sense it's a strong shot now, yeah. sort of weak it, it, shot. Yeah, it felt strong through impact. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. As opposed to, I suppose, if, it, if I've got that face, it's always slightly... It's gonna, yeah, so it's, it's like a glancing blow if yeah. you're not careful. Yeah, yeah. I've never closed a club face on the ground. Yeah, it's scary, isn't it? Yeah. Because that, you know, we've been brainwashed to say, well, if I close that, it's going to go over there. Yeah. Might start there, but we can use that yeah. uh, nice fade fade path to bring it back in. Oh, that's the one. That's the one? Yeah. Beautiful. That's what I'm waiting for. Yeah. And then it's like confirmation that, yeah, yeah. It, does, it does what, what it wants to do without it being a glancing blow. And, you know, if it's a windy course and you can't hit a low shot, yeah, I'll struggle. Yeah. And, and you, can, you can really play around with that and play a low fade and not, not worry that you have to, sh you know. It's interesting if I can play a draw with it because if I try and overdraw it, I don't normally dap it that way. Yeah, so, let's try, yeah. yeah. Feel that one? Yes, I still didn't feel so much the lag as I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. good. Yeah. That's more freezing. Yeah, yeah. I try to relax. Let go, yeah. Yeah. Go. yeah. Hold on. Is that, I say, as the club gets longer, we try and control it more. Yeah. You've got to let that go. And it's that trust of the whip of the club. What I would do is live both ways because yeah. we don't want to go from one extreme to X, but just explore both. And then if you need it, you've got it. But all, for me, all day long, that's, that's, that's uh, yeah. money. <laughs> <laughs>